So yeah, the second song is very interesting. We have those operatic, big, huge riffs, but they do not evolve into anything musically big. But instead, they instead they fit themselves into a party building up track that feels constantly like opening up. No. Um, musical. It's like saying, start the musical, 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 start the musical. And, and so there are very interesting roots and elements here. Overall, the record is not necessarily super quirky or out there or experimental. It just takes some elements here and there of art punk or jazz or glam punk to give that robust robust, robust, unique sound to the musical they want to present you to. It's a very te theater kid kind of album. Even more quiet songs like the third track, which is like, you know, very, it starts very quietly chill and feels like going on a lake on a boat and you are enjoying the landscape. Even then, the vocals feels like they are telling you a very fun story, complimenting you in such a confident manner, like saying, uh, some, something like that. Anyway, poof! It's very, uh, like, uh, it has just a quiet atmosphere. It's like a quiet thing. It's like just a simple interlude, I guess, if you will. But poof! Too! <laughs> Evolved from that. It takes the sad, fancy background of the first poof! And then it just builds up in a dramatic way with anger. And then it goes dramatic again. And then it adds a saxophone that is scratched completely. And then it fades out. So the record is always teasing you, always teasing you, but it's not going to burn you completely. Songs like Lagoon, the soundtrack takes the main part with a piano and the guitar accompanies, accompanies it instead of being the main instrument of the song. It takes the piano first, <laughs> then you have some dreamy seats that jump a bit timely, and then they open up for a big moment, like saying, ah! and you get this romantic, not romantic in the sense of romance, but in the sense that it romanticizes the feeling of grandeur a lot, I guess. <laughs> the, I, I guess that I mean. <laughs> Language is failing me. I am limited by the language of my time. I need words that I lack. E and 1070, 1070, or you could say 1070. I think 1070 is less of a handful. Maybe that's why you say the dates like that in English. Anyway, uh, Builds up, it also builds up dramatically with the tint of despair and sometimes beautiful, but it's always big, huge, dramatic, like not epic because epic is a different vibe. Epic is, has epic adds some anxiety to to the mu to music that sounds huge. In this case, it's just dramatic in the sense that it's confident and fun. Um, and clown, clown, clown is a full circus with that marching band rhythm at times and including the sassy vocals and screaming and then a weird solo, blast beats for a couple of seconds, then becomes completely ominous, evil, maniacal. <coughs> and then it closes the track just in time. So they do not overwhelm you with too many changes or twists. It's manical and illogical, but in an accessible way. And that's fun, that's fun. So yeah, overall they give you a lot of space to breathe in the album. After that insanity of Clown, we have a, we have Living Song. It's called Living Song, which, um, which is a more calm piece and with a lot of acoustic instruments that are relaxing and sad. It's a very solemn piece. It's very beautiful and we hear some birds in the distance and it feels like breathing in the middle of the forest. Then the piano comes in as well. And it's just a very beautiful, calming, maybe even a bit sad song. 
See, after the, after the storm comes the calm. And Seahorse, the last track, feels like wandering around lost, like enjoying the landscape. Yeah, it's very still, like very floaty. It can be oddly relaxing. And I also like, I also like a lot of the sound, sounds they add with the guitars, like how the guitar sounds distant. Uh, it's showing from the sea. The vocals feel like they're telling you a sad story. They're not even singing it, it's just like talking to you. But, but then the narration gets more and more dramatic while the distant guitar accompanies it and then builds up and builds up into an emotional, melancholic ending. So, <laughs> overall thoughts. Who will I recommend this to and who will I not recommend this to? So, I'm a person that likes fun and if it was me, I would make people listen to this kind of stuff no matter who you are, anybody. Everybody, you need to listen to this because this is this music is great. There is nothing else <laughs> that can change my mind. Who will I recommend this to and who will I not recommend this to? <laughs> what? You think I cannot find bad things to talk about the kind of music I love? Wow, <laughs> buddy, if you don't know how to do my job, then you don't have what it takes to be a true neutral. You don't have what it takes to be a true neutral. You don't have what it takes to be a true neutral. True neutral. A true neutral. A true neutral. Listen, right now, I'm just a human, okay? And my voice doesn't give enough when I'm trying to talk dramatically. Then we have to accommodate for that, okay? We have to work with what we have! <laughs> the weakness of my flesh disgusts me entirely. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. If you don't have what it takes to do my job, then you don't have what it takes to be a true neutral! There you go. That's the thought I wanted to give. Now, now you will listen to me to what I have to say next. I think that this record I just reviewed and the one I reviewed just before, the mm, Super Key Generator, have a lot of things in common not musically or in any sense of uh, similarly wise but conceptually in the sense that there are records that take elements that are so different from each other and the record might take its time to find an audience maybe if you listen to this you will find it too over the top too dramatic too cheesy or maybe even cringe <laughs> worthy or if you are into that kind of maniacal experimental prog vibes you will say hey can you do something interesting in this record this is just a bunch of swingy jazzy longy tunes kind of punky blues vibes but it never takes me anywhere new or interesting but you know for some people it will just have the right amount of elements to create the perfect balance of fun things to enjoy. So if you don't like that kind of over-the-top, quirky, musical, show tunes kind of vibe, you will probably not enjoy this record at all. So yeah, if you dislike fun, you will not write this record. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, of course. Of course I'm kidding. You can dislike stuff like that because it can be too much for some people, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. Some people can be a bunch of squares, but it doesn't matter. You are who you are and it's okay to enjoy in your own way. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Come on, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, come on. Now, who will I recommend this to? There is a lot of people that will probably not like this, but there are a lot of people as well that I would like to recommend this to. I saw in the album comments that people were comparing them to Mr. Bongo a lot and Win and Quirky Core like that. And no, 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 no. 
no, 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 no. The thing is that Mr. Bongo and you know the fashion disco and polka dot cadaver and stuff like that and top ring they sound more like slapstick while this album is more like show tunes you know like a big show with deranged madness and confidence and a lot of humor and it's very yeah it's very show tune and very longy long we launch and swingy and it's like it's like playing that kind of big band show tunes record but but with post punk with guitars and post punk elements it's it's as simple as that so yeah if you like let me think some contemporaries to this kind of music if you like will wood uh, tally hall the dress and dolls you will most likely enjoy this record it has a lot of those elements that those artists share, but post punk, like rock musical, but post punk. If you're going to look for something bungalish or like super twisted and that mixes a lot of genres, you will find it very decaffeinated and square and simple to find anything interesting. How so it's, it's not that kind of deal. It's just like a fun operatic record that is, you know, mm -hmm. nice, like, you know, it has, a, it has a lot of very cool bits and pieces of elements of bits of glam punk, bits of solo, bits of circle ma circus march, bits of pieces of, of piano pop to create a really fun record of post-punk, post-punk with you know with a bit of show magic <laughs> what rating will I give to this record I was thinking I was thinking the top hat is a fitting rating I know I know it's a very heavy very positive rating for me to give and I will not give the top hat rating to any record that I would liked or that was show tuning or big or stuff like that. This record rating is Top Hat. A Top Hat record. So yeah, that's the review by now. Um, I, I was trying to <laughs> summarize everything that I say in the records so I can push them out in time. And, and I, mean, I guess I guess I hope that you like more the short I, get, I hope it is short. The recording time is about the same as always. So anyway, go listen to it. It's it's like half an hour and, and barely. So yeah, I guess I'll catch you on the flip. We'll see you later. Maybe probably. Mm. We'll talk you later. We we have been through this. I cannot see you. I cannot see you. Okay. I will talk to you. Okay, so yeah. I mean, if you still want to stay, just, you, you know, it's, it's up to you. I, I'm just doing my thing. I'm just doing my thing. Yeah. Boop, boop. Do you want to hear about my week? If you want to hear about my week, I can tell you. Uh, this week I went to uh, Rock al Parque, Rock al Parque, and I went to, to I, you know, I saw the ocean and in flames and uh, overkill, you know, three, three bands that were in the festival. It's like a free music festival, the city does, and they bring cool bands and local bands and international bands but there was like a lot of people like 1,000 no like 100,000 people that's what I you know someone told me and took a lot of time to take a car to my home 
I was just watching the screen and what point what point there is to that if I can't really see them up close I'm just watching the screen and there's a lot of people but well it was free so still you know what I realized the more I talk the more I will have to subtitle radar so I will you know what I won't talk anymore for the rest of the video What do we do? What do we do? How do we finish this video? If we cannot finish this video, we can't move on to edit it or do anything. I'm getting nervous right here. We need to stop the recording somehow. Please, give me ideas. It's okay. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Oh, I have an idea. Woo! Yes, close your eyes, close your eyes. There you go.